We all know that Boris had the time of his life on multiple occasions, and the most recent revelation is he had a birthday party. Isn't that wonderful? Happy birthday, Mr Prime Minister, from last year, when we were all told to stay at home, protect the NHS, save lives, not see any loved ones, yada, 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 yada. You see the picture, and we're all getting really angry and annoyed because it appears that we've had the piss taken out of us quite royally, by those we trusted to lead us, and the situation is becoming vastly untenable. It would appear that uh, uh, Miss Gray uh, is supposed to be leading an investigation to tell Boris whether or not he was at a party he was actually at. Well, it appears there's been a spanner in the works and is due to the Metropolitan Police. <laughs> How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Tuesday. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad myself. Let me know how your day's gone in the comments below for one thing and what you think of this debacle next. Well, it appears that the Met Police have finally pulled their finger out and they've decided they're going to investigate Partygate after all. And the breaking news is that Boris says he will cooperate in the fullest possible sense. Now, nah, this stinks of a big PR exercise to me. Save Boris's arse, part two, or get rid of Boris, part 636, whatever way, it's a complete and utter sham. Have a look what Cressida Dick has come out and said. Long established and effective working relationship uh, with the Cabinet Office. You have an investigative capability. And as you well know, they have been carrying out uh, an investigation over the last few weeks. And what I can tell you this morning is that as a result, firstly, of the information provided by the Cabinet Office inquiry team, and secondly, my officer's own assessment, I can confirm that the Met is now investigating a number of events that took place at Downing Street and Whitehall in the last two years in relation to potential breaches of COVID-19 regulations. My officers have assessed several other events that appear to have taken place at Downing Street and Whitehall. On the available information, these other events are assessed as not reaching the threshold for criminal investigation. Throughout the pandemic, the Met has sought to take, as I have said, a proportionate approach. I should stress that the fact that we are now investigating does not, of course, mean that fixed penalty notices will necessarily be issued in every instance and to every person involved. We will not be giving a running commentary on our current investigations, but I can assure you that we will give updates at significant points, as we would generally do. Sorry, Sue Gray, it looks like you've had a Cressida's eyes spanner thrown firmly in your works and your findings are delayed for the time being. I find Cressida Dick's language very telling indeed. What I think's going to happen, they're going to investigate for a while. They're going to find some impropriety, some people are going to get slappy slappy wrists. It's a big pantomime, a big distraction, and we'll probably end up carrying on as before. What a load of old baloney. But one thing I know as well, the Met has come in for quite a severe kicking over the recent months for ignoring this charade for one thing and also the way other members of the public have been treated in a I'd say disproportionate manner compared with what she's saying but what do I know I'm just a cabbie let me know what you think but to me it's getting farcical now it needs to stop I'm off to Lou.